Hello and welcome to Gordon's School for the first live game of the new Next Gen 15 Spring League. It's Gordon's against Reed's, a Surrey derby, but a Surrey derby that doesn't happen all that often. Just once have these two schools met in the 15 aside game. It was a 21-0 victory that day to Reed's. Since then, there has been a lot of change here at Gordon's School. That game back in 2019. Since then, Gordon's have joined the ace setup linking up with Harlequins. This won't be their ace side that takes the field today, but it is going to be a very, very special side yeah, indeed as Next Gen 15 Spring League has launched, giving an opportunity to players in this spring turn that wouldn't otherwise have got it. And we are going to see plenty of that in both these sides. Lots and lots of players that maybe won't be involved in sevens, lots of under 17s in the team lineups as well. It's going to be very exciting. We've had a pipe band playing. You might be able to see them just in a moment when we pan across as the teams come out. I can see Gordon's almost ready to go. But before we get into any of that, I better give you the team sheets. Gordon's. Well, their numbers are all over the shop, but trust me, these players are not going to be. They are going to be well organized. Zach Stevenson, Nathan Young, Harvey Cloak, Jed Saunders, Harry Martin, 21, Robbie Heffernan, 7 on the open side, Luke Whistlecroft, and 8, Robert Harrison. That is the forward pack. Halfback, Sam Mason, as the pipe band strikes up. Brandon Draud, James Goldsworth, Aidan Sisk, Oliver Mantell at outside centre, David Gamina on the right wing, and Tom Baldwin. At fullback with Ollie Wallacher, Owen Habershaw, Stan Platt, and Zach Sinclair on the bench. Reads, as you can see on your screen, are going Leicester Tigers style. We've got letters, we've got exclamation marks, we've got hashtags, we've got all sorts. But what I can tell you is that the captain and inside centre, Liam Stigger, is in L. Alongside him, Joshua Pringer James in N. In the back three is Z, Matthew Lount, P, William McDonald. And you, Harry Tong, halfbacks F, Max Towers, and at fly half B, Ben Barlow, the vice captain. Up front, it's C, Rory Jeffrey, D, Barney Bowen, and A, Ed Traherne in the front row, almost the ABC club there. Second row, H, Max Fortescue, K, Lewis Roebuck, W, Rayan Sheikh, M, Nicholas Lobo, and G, playing at number eight, John Gibson. And on the bench, well, this is going to be interesting for Reeds, isn't it? Q, William Winterflood, exclamation mark, Yian Schofield. Star, Charles Robert Tharrett, at Matthew Pringer James. J, Josh Millard, hashtag Wilfred Saywell. O, Hayden McGilvray, S, Sam Mercer, and R, Benjamin Reed. So we are almost ready for kickoff, Gordon's just going through a final couple of whacks on the pad just to get those shoulders warm. Reeds, while they're lined up, ready to go. They're going to be on the right-hand side of your screens in the first half. 
in white and on the left hand side of your screens will be the home side Gordons who are in the dark green this is the second game of next gen 15 spring league Hayes school won the first game a fortnight ago at Horsham Rugby Club against Eastbourne College which is where spring league will be returning for reads against Eastbourne College in a week or so's time but here it's all eyes on the founders of Next Gen 15 Spring League, Gordons, and their fly half, Brandon Draud, who's going to kick us off. The pipe band has marched off. Very good they were too. Difficult for our sound test, though, as Draud kicks off high and hanging into the 22, and it's claimed well by Reeds. Gordons, one of the few sides that's been able to get some rugby under their belts this term such has been the pressure on the pitches from the icy cold weather but as you can see this pristine facility they have here allowing them to get a couple of games under their belts as they take it into contact there through baldwin through the hands they go down the left hand side up to the 22. harvey cloak just taking that one in now his front row partner, Byung. A little bit of delay on the pass from Draud, releases Whistlecroft. Draud again now to Heffernan. Whistlecroft again, getting some good early carries in. Harrison, back row, featuring already an awful lot for Gordons. George gets the ball in his hands again. This time he's taken down. Reed's doing a good job here of holding their defensive line. Allowing Gordons up to the 22, but not beyond. Now they go a bit deeper and the ball spilled. Reed's have it in possession for the first time. But Gordons tidy things up and bundle reads into touch referee says no advantage though so we'll come back for the first scrum of the game and a first look at some of the big boys hookers left of the mark on the setup please nice and slow good height good stability please max towers Sam Mason, the two scrum halves there. Towers wearing Crunch. F for Reeds. Stand up. We'll put the ball in. Referee wants them a little closer. Crouch. Find. Slow series Set. of calls, Stable. no excuses for this one being too unsteady given the surface. Ball comes to the back very quickly. Slightly difficult one for Barlow to deal with, but he deals with it exceptionally well. Stabs the kick forward up to the Gordons 22. Baldwin has to scramble to cover that one, but does well. Just waited long enough to get his support back up to him. And now they're just making a little bit of headway. Oh, Gordon's getting the offloading away through the front row. Stevenson and Cloak with the offloads. And now it's Heffernan down the left-hand side. That really was brilliant Taking interlinking back. from their own 22 no, by the Gordon's forwards. And now a no great nudge forward back into the half. from Jord. Referee says clearly not a 50-22 because it was taken back in, but it's a wonderful kick either way. Gordon's getting that one right inside the 22. Okay, Reed's in we come, nice and quickly. Line out reads. 
to go to the front, bring it down safely. Big wide pass out now. To W, Ray and Shake. Okay, use nine. We'll get a bit slicker on these letters as the game goes on, I promise you that. Gordon's looking to counter off that kick. Again, up to the 22, but no further. Reed's defending that 22 like it's their own try line. Ball is snagged at the back of the ruck and Reeds will have a scrum and they are defending really well in that 22 area. Gordon's with almost all the ball early on. But Reeds surviving superbly. And last time, the ball came flying out the Set. back. And Reeds get a little more control this time. They certainly can. Two feet at the number eight. Pops it up to a scrum half. And ball spilled, though. So Gordons are now into the 22, in possession. Jed Saunders. Advantage the second over. row, inching his way forward. Advantage over, says the ref. Gordons taking full advantage, but bundled into touch. The home side with all the early pressure here. See it here, forwards getting it through the hands really nicely indeed. David Gamina, it was on the left wing. Just bundled out into touch. Reeds with work to do to get out of their own 22 and it's gonna be harder now because Gordons have nicked it off that line out and Draud is dancing his feet away. Beats the defender and now gets the ball away. Reed's working oh. hard to hold it up. And doing so with some success. More called. Turnover Reeds. Big scrum from Gordon's. Reed's having to work ever so hard. I think we're going to reset. But that was a big, big effort from Gordon's there. Schoolboy level, remember. 45 degree wheel, re reset. Each side can only drive one and a half meters. Five. Set. Picked up off the base by Gibson. Gibson makes really good ground. Gets his side on the front foot. Slowed down and then pinched brilliantly though by Luke Whistlecroft. Whistlecroft still carrying Whistlecroft up to the try line. Has he got it down? Yes, he has. Luke Whistlecroft doing it all on his own there. Superb work from the open side flanker. Gordons have the lead. We see the replay here. Look at that. Whistlecroft over it perfectly. Pilfers the ball. And then just sets off on a charge towards the try line. Look at the power and the strength through the tackle. And then the strength to get the ball down despite two players doing everything to try and hold him up. And Luke Whistlecroft has given his side the perfect start. Gordon's five, Reed's nil. 
And Gerard looking to turn that into 7-0. What a start from Gordon's. Draw does indeed knock that conversion over. To send Gordon's into a 7-0 lead here. There he is, Luke Whistlecroft. Fantastic work from the young open side. Ben Barlow, the vice captain, to restart the game for Reeds. It's an excellent kickoff as well. Real competition for the ball, and it falls into the arms of Gibson. And Reeds respond quickly. Well, they've got a penalty, that's for sure. Number two, you're on the floor and out the game. Nathan Vyong just getting a bit over enthusiastic in his attempts to get the ball. And Reeds go on the aggress, on the, on, well, what am I trying to say there? Goodness. Five metre line is yours, fellas. Reeds going aggressive, maybe, who knows? Either way, they've gone to the corner. Can oh, Reeds step that way for me? respond immediately? Numbers. I'll yeah. give you time to adjust. Clear referee just okay. wants Reeds to be a little clearer about how many numbers are in their lineup. Slightly scrappy ball Accidental off the ball. Offside. Accidental offside. You just saw there the separation Still as the, the ball came down and was spilled team. between Gibson and the back of the ball. And Gibson uh, no, accidentally offside as he bound, bound onto the player in front. As the referee says. Pretty even records, these two teams. Gordons have played 15, won 10 of those, drawing one, losing four. Reed's played slightly fewer, 11, won seven of those. They too have drawn the game and lost three. Set, stable. So we're expecting a close one today. But Gordon's in no here, mood, no mood to give away anything too cheaply, earning a penalty on their own five Sign meter line. Please. Clear, just to the outside of the twenty-two. See there. On the tight head side of the scrum, things going down for Reeds. It's a powerful scrummaging unit, this Gordon side. Ball! Hold back, you go! Sideways once! Taken in! Draw stabs it, looking for a bit of space, but it's well covered in the backfield by Reeds. Good ball for them to play off here as well. Forwards doing some carrying. Off the scrum half on the right hand side. Gordon's defence is up incredibly quickly. But Reed's doing well to retain possession. Back in the hands here of Matthew Lount, who caught that ball in the backfield. Roll 22. Ball's there, man. Huge counter ruck from Harvey Cloak for Gordon's just about kept alive by Reeds, but they've lost 20, 30 meters there. And another big counter ruck from Gordon's. Reeds are having to work so hard just to keep a hold of the ball here. Physicality from the home team is astonishing here. Down, 
down safely. Knocked back in the tackle again. Combination there Step of Martin me. and Harrison. Okay, use nine. No reads through towers are going to go to the box kick. Just to try and find a bit of respite up to about the 10 meter line. It's a good tackle actually from Harry Tun. But a penalty, Gordon's not rolling away. That man needs to roll before you compete. Gordon's probably a kickable penalty. And a real sign of their ambition. They go to the corner. We see it here. It's, it's one of those, isn't it? It's great work on the floor from the second man in for Rees, but you've got to wait for that tackler to roll away before you compete. Otherwise, nowadays, just referees are seeing that as an easy and quick Thank decision you. to make. Don't change. No, no. Vantage, collapse. Gordon's marching towards the try line. Let go, Reeds. Mason advantage offside. whips it away, playing with penalty advantage now, Gordon's. Free ball pops out the back. So have to tidy it up. No advantage. Ball spilled, though, Captain, so... You've got, a, you got, a, you got an option, an offside penalty here, or the collapse more back over there. We'll have a penalty. A couple of options here for Gordon's. Wait for me to award, please. Behind the line. They're going to take the one bang in front of the post, as you might expect. I think we can see a tap and go here. We do indeed. Stevenson. Roll white! No hands! Now his front row colleague, Cloak. Is he across the line? Held up. Held up. Goal line, line dropout. Reed survive. Say so you won't be able to tell on your screens, but from my vantage point, the crowd in front of me is building and building from what was a small trickle before. We're now in three, four rows deep in front of me. Reads with the drop line, goal line dropout into the hands of the try scorer, Luke Whittlescroft. Whistlescroft again. Absolutely everywhere. And these opening exchanges. Oh, what an offload out the back from Harrison. And a lovely finish from Tom Baldwin, but that was all about the offload from Robert Harrison, the Gordons number eight. This fullback, Tom Baldwin, the scorer. But that was lovely play from Reeds over the top first of all from Saunders and then look at this from Harrison out the back a little half a fend from Baldwin and across the line he goes for his side second try of the game and Gordon School are loving next gen 15 spring league Tom Baldwin. Oh, you'll remember that one. Lovely rugby from Gordon's. And you have to say, no less than they've deserved. They've been absolutely fantastic in this opening 17, 18 minutes. Tough conversion for Brandon Draud. Great effort, though, just drifts to the right-hand side of the post, but fantastic effort effort from Draud. Go, 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 go. 
And a chance, by the way, for me to mention our partners, Limitless, who, well, have delivered us with an absolutely outstanding batch of kit to keep us warm and dry on, on what I'm sure you all know is an absolutely freezing cold day right across the country. There's been games cancelled left, right and centre due to the icy conditions. But I'll tell you what, in Limitless kit, you wouldn't know keeping us warm and dry here at Next Gen 15 and Limitless are the kit arm of the brand School Blazer. Working with schools and teams up and down the country. They'll be kitting out the referees and officials at the Rosslyn Park HSBC National School Sevens later on this term. Just there, lads. Couple of changes for Reeds. Among them, as you can see at the tail of the line out, is the exclamation mark, Ian Schofield. Maul! Don't change! No, 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 no. Don't change. I wonder how we got an exclamation He's mark on the, the back of his shirt. We'll need to ask the uh, Reeds players and staff about some of those backs of the kit. Exclamation mark star at hashtag. You've got to think they ordered more than 26 shirts, I suppose. Gordon's back in possession. Carrying through Zach Stevenson, but tackled well by John Gibson. He's had an impressive game in what's been a tough outing so far for Reeds. Flying forward, Gordon's go again. Release one! Aiden Release. Sisk. Wearing 22. Reeds getting up in defence really well. Getting a hack through as well, but it's tidied up. First man. By Gordon's. I think that was Draud getting down on it. Advantage penalty. Reeds playing with penalty advantage. Gibson, can he take a bit of advantage? Well, he's met by the Gordon's front row, and that is not Holding on. the set of players in this Gordon's lineup that you want to be bearing down upon. Holding on. Back 10 meters, Some please. serious on power in that front row. But we'll come back for the penalty to Reeds. Okay. And this time shot they're going to take back. a shot at goal. Ben Barlow, the vice captain, calls for the tee. Now, if Will Roberts, one of our regular commentators, were here, he'd be able to tell you exactly what tea is being used as well. Very niche brand of expertise that Will has, but it has its uses. One such use is when talking about the Aura Trophy, which is coming up later this year. Competition testing all aspects of kicking from hand, drop goals, Place kicks, all sorts. That'll be happening in July of this year. So keep your eyes peeled for news on that. As Barlow strikes that one very nicely indeed and gets Reeds on the score sheet for the first time today. Narrowing the gap down to 12 3 with around about 12 minutes left to play in this first half. The referee saying he was always a footballer. Well, well, well. First man, put your hands down. Advantage Reeds penalty. counter rocking well, but referee <laughs> says not legally. Let him run! Let him run! So Gordon's easy through scrum half. Sam Mason going quick. No, back you go. the hands they try to go but that one goes loose oh it's a lovely that little pop-up from on. Luke Whistlecroft what a game the open side is having and what an offload that is Gordon's back foot adding a dose of magic to their no. play 
and earning another penalty as Reed's desperation to get the ball just gets a bit too much for them. And Draud sensing they're on the front foot here, nudges it into the corner. Saying that although that ball might have been out, you still have to come through the back foot to get to it. Now, did anyone see Harlequins against the Sharks at the weekend? Evan Etzebe popping around ball, like a box break kick away. to nick the ball Tackle. from Danny Kerr. No hands, Reed. That's one way of stopping the box kick, isn't it? In a sharp eye on people's binding. Gordon's edging towards the try line through Aiden Sisk. Really good work that from Reeds in defence. Their defence has been outstanding, has to be said, but there's nothing they can do about that as Gordon's get across the line for their third try of the game. This time it's Sam Mason. The scrum half wriggling free and getting across the line. It was one pass out. And then like a classic scrum half, the double pump. And he burrows his way to the try line. And just as Reeds had got themselves on the score sheet, Gordon's hit back for a 17-3 lead. And you've got to think that Draud is going to knock this one over. No problem at all. Hands down. And indeed he does. But so confident was the referee that he's almost back at the halfway line already. 19-3 to the home side, Gordons against Reed, against Reeds rather, in this second game of the next Gen 15 Spring League. Just under eight minutes left to go in this first half, as you can see on your screens. Barlow, let me tell you, the bounce will be pretty consistent. All part of the routine. Really. We're going to stop! Knocks it deeper this time. They're giving Gamina a chance to break free, and Gamina taking that chance and getting beyond the 10 meter line. Reeds do well just to slow it down a touch. Drawed through the hands. Harrison. Tackled well. Oh, that was electric from Gamina. Up to the 22 now of Gordons. Saunders. Evading tacklers like an outside back there. A huge bump off from Stevenson as well. No advantage. Ball eventually spilled. But what fantastic rugby from Gordon School. Well, we are in Surrey. And they are affiliated with Harlequins. And I'll tell you what. They've taken a leaf or two out of the Harlequins playbook. Crouch. Find. Set. Free kick reads. At the scrum. Early. And they go quickly. 
That's a huge tackle on Gibson. No hands, Reeds! Looks like Matthew Pringer James might be on as well for Reeds. Try and keep you abreast of that. Ball's turned over though and in Gordon's hands. And there's that man, Gamina, again, who had that brilliant break just a few moments ago. Harrison. Grown and grown into this half as Harrison, the number eight. Draw standing deep. Goes out the back. Now they go flat to Sisk. Keeping the ball alive at Gordon's cloak. Like any oh, good tight head, takes a bit of contact. This player's got to go first. His front row partner, Nathan Vyong. Roll tackler! Intercept Reeds. How are the legs? How are the lungs? Reeds flying forward. Gordon's get back really well. Off feet! A key intervention from Reeds. But brilliant cover work from Gordon's. Now Reeds playing on the front foot. What can they do with it? Can they get that first try? Half time under five minutes away. What a boost this would be for Reeds if they could. Advantage. They've got a penalty. Let him and they go quickly. Ten. Towers. Still going. Into the 22 is Towers. Let go. No scrum half, so and slow ball it. this for Reeds. Into the hands of the man in the star, Charles Roberts Tharrett. But it's spilled and it's a scrum down. Gordon's ball, and I think the man who made the intercept was Josh Millard, who I think was just trotted off for a bit of a rest after that lung-bursting effort. Here he is. I apologise, it wasn't um, Max Towers that went on that break into the 22 a moment ago. It was Wilford Saywell there in the hashtag. Fine. Set. Steady. Gordon's then with a scrum inside their own 22. Big scrum actually from Reeds. Crabs around now a little bit. <laughs> Referee awards a penalty to Gordon's though. Says Reeds were walking that one around. Loose head not driving straight. See here, straight away that one starts to get on the wheel. Gordon's coming away with the penalty. That's theirs. Good referee today. Been refereed by him before myself, actually. So it's going to be a scrum green ball. And as you can hear there, that's exactly why we thought he was good. Clear communication and a bit of empathy as well. <laughs> Another scrum. He's got a good nudge last time, but penalised for walking it around. And they get a similar level of crouch. Go forward without. Any of that Fine. natural movement. Set, stable. Hold the shove, Gordons. Big scrum from Gordons and Harrison. A little half a dummy. Back towards the front row and Vyong. Vyong so hard to put down. It's your own player. Let it come, Reeds. Let it come. Draud feeding the back line and Whistlecroft who scored that first try of the game and now into the hands of the danger man David Gamina. Off leg, play on! That majestic break earlier on. Oh, 
Moving towards that final play time of this first half. Draw thumps it downfield, looking for a little field position, covered by Lount. Reads playing out the back, but that one doesn't go to hand, and Gordons are going to have a try to end the half. James Goldsworth tidying up the loose ball and getting himself underneath the posts. Four tries for Gordons. That's half time, fellas, okay? Half time, lad. <laughs> the pressure they've put on at all times has been huge. And it came flying through off that kick. Reed's trying to play out, trying to be ambitious. But the pass just not quite going to hand. And Goldsworth only too happy to come and mop things up and score his side's fourth try of the game. And I think this is going to be half time once Brandon Draud has surely added the extras for what will be a 26 points to three lead at the half time break. For me, you, your speed of ball is looking really good at the moment. But I'll obviously continue to look at that picture, all right? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Good. Well, it's off the post. Can't quite tell if that went over or not. I didn't... Uh, wasn't paying attention. I do apologise. It did go over. 26 points to three. Gordon's lead against Reeds at half-time here in this second game. In this group of the next Gen 15 Spring League, Hayes have already got a victory to their name, and it looks at this stage as though Gordons are following them. It has been an absolutely outstanding first half from Gordons. They lead Reeds 26 points to three. We'll be back with you any moment.
Welcome back for the second half of this next Gen 15 Spring League game between Gordons and Reeds. Reeds restarting the game on the left-hand side of your screen in white, Gordons. Receiving kickoff in green and catching the kickoff is David Gamino, who made an absolutely epic break in the first half. A first half that ended Don't with Gordon's leading 26 points to three after four absolutely okay, use nine. brilliant tries. What can Reeds do in the second half? Gordon's on the move. Made a few changes of Gordon's and one of them there, Owen Habershaw taking the ball into contact. I can't play on because you've come in at the side but we're going back for the knock on. Coming back for a knock on. Gordon's ball. Fast nice start again from Gordon's in his second half. The scrummaging, a major feature of their first half performance from Gordon's. Crouch! A few changes now though. How will that affect Fine. things? Both sides with plenty of changes. Of course, half time, half game rule in operation. Everyone across the squads. Playing at least half the game. Makes it quite the feat of logistics. Crouch! Got a fairly hefty number of subs. Set! Hold Gordon's! Gordon's. Moving the ball through and getting across the game line off first phase. Reads up fast, too fast, says the ref. Offside, Ollie Wallacher taking the ball into contact and Gordon's playing with advantage. Working so hard through every contact at Gordon's. Ball spilled. But advantage was being played, and Gordon's will have a penalty for that offside. Reads. Fellas, just in the forwards. I'm going to have to put some big please. defense in. So you've got access. So they've got access, okay? Thank you. Uh, Ten meters from their own try line. Gordon's with the line out. You see it here. Tom Baldwin went absolutely flying forward. Reads offside there and offside in the midfield. Working so hard. Habershaw to throw in. He's come oh. on the second half. Knocked on though by Gordon's. Reed survive. They'll have a scrum and a chance to escape. Unfortunate one, that one for the home side. Reeds do. Will they clear their lines or are they going to go with full Crouch. ambition here? First of all. Find. Set. They're going to need to win this scrum. It's a big Use shove it. from Gordon's, but it's safely to the back for Reeds. And they are going to try and play it out from their 22. Big defense from Gordon's. Captain Liam Stigger being met by two men. Big pass out wide. Reeds up to the 22, doing really well to not get tackled into touch there. Robert Starrett. Easy, easy. Big defense again from Gordon's. 
Reeds are having to work so hard here. And release five. Just to try and get out of their own 22. And I think they're going to say fair enough, fair play. Stop in front, White. Let's kick this one downfield. Big spiral kick into Gordon's half. Oh, that's wonderful work from Gordon's, just as I say that. Let go! For old Zach Sinclair, bamboozled by Lay his own off. footwork. Reeds back in possession then. Inside the Gordon's half. Forwards they go. Bit of momentum here. I think that was Yian Schofield getting on the front foot. And now through the gap, halfway goes Barlow. Just scragged down, but it's good ball here. Stigger, the captain, taking the game to Gordon's. And Take then having the ball in. ripped clear from him. Habershaw, how often Off have we mentioned white. his name in the opening couple of minutes of this there, second half? And it's immaterial to your speed of ball. Play on. Oh, ambitious from Gordon's. And why not? Gamina, almost up to halfway, gets the ball away as well. Advantage, never on side. Blind side they go, back in Gamina's hand. Oh, out the back from him as well. He's having some game as the left winger here. Clear. And a penalty for his side. That player must roll away first. Your David point. Gamina. Two magnificent bits of play there. <laughs> Gordon's a penalty on the 10 meter line. They're going to stick it into the corner. Just about David up to the, the 22 line. with that one. Go, Gordon's. Have a short to throw in. Five man line out for Gordon's. Oh, and they throw the cheeky one to the front. Harry Martin. Back you go, back you go. They've reloaded. Ollie Wallacher takes it in. Now Martin again. Oh, it's lovely hands. Harvey Cloak now inches from the try line. Ball spilled, though, and another chance just slips by for Gordons. But what play that was. The interchange between the forwards. Delightful. Harvey Cloak. Look at that. Just a couple of metres short. Bit of a delay in proceedings here. Can't tell if anyone's down or not. Gives me an opportunity, though, to mention our partners, Limitless, again. Let's go. They've provided us with some absolutely wonderful kit as our kit partners. They are the sportswear arm of School Blazer, providing schools the length and breadth of the country. Their brand of top quality kit. Crouch! Top quality Five. is too, I am absolutely toasty. Set! Reeds looking to play from their own five meter line and doing so with some success. Good decision. They look good, Reeds, when they get the ball through the hands. Just being under so much pressure defensively from Gordon's who go for the intercept there. Knocked on. Is it deliberate? No referee says. Just a regulation knock on. Look 
a look at this one again. Oh, I've, I've seen penalties given for those, but... Hard not to stick an arm out when you can see the try line beckoning, though, isn't it? Crouch. Bind. Although Set. I will say this, given how often some players are able to catch the ball one-handed, it does seem very... Uh, Straight out the tunnel, same ball. Very unusual that referees become the arbiters of whether or not you're skillful enough to gather the ball one-handed or not. Always rather like the uh, Australian viewpoint on it. Eyes to the sky. You're Crouch. All right. You're all right. Eyes to the sky, palms to the Bind. sky. I think might be what I'm trying to say. Set. Hold Gordon's. Ask Michael Liner. <laughs> he knows all about it. You can't use your hands in a scrum. Penalty reads. Over here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can't use your hands in a scrum. Can't use your hands in a scrum. Tell Neil back that, eh? Well, I tell you what, I didn't expect us to have that graphic available. Hands in the scrum. We see the replay here. Ball to the tail, but there was a hand involved. Couple of changes. Okay, Reed, let's go. Watch on. Looks as though Ben Barlow is stepping off for Reed onto the field. I think William Winterflood. Just hold a second. Bit of a delay for a shoelace. My favoured delaying tactics back in my playing days. Gordon steal the line out. Every facet of the game, they found a way to influence it today of Gordon's. Broad. Break down the blind side that time. Now they go back to the open side. That forward pack, Ollie Wallacher. Made some big carries since he came on. Taken back. Stabbed three now. Sits up nicely, though, for Reese to deal with in the backfield. And they'll have a little chance at a counter hit. Support does well to get there. Just in the nick of time, but the pass not going to hand. Knock on touch. Scrum all line out. Promising situation doesn't quite line pan out, out for Reeds and Gordons. will have a line out. A chance to launch something here. I can see you somewhere. Interesting one, this from Gordon's. Knocked on into touch, but they chose to go for the line out rather than the scrum. Good. Strapping applied. Gordon's just step up to me. Step over, right over. Keep going, Hooker. Keep going, because there's their mark. Thank you. Sorting the tape out on that left boot. <laughs> line out, not straight. Not straight. Line out. Reed's having a think about whether they want a scrum or a line out. I think they're going to go with the scrum. Not straight. Scrum taken. And they do take the scrum indeed. Worth mentioning our friends at Return to Play. You can see on the bottom left there as we look at the uh, the ankle of Ollie Wallacher. Doing some wonderful work with schools across the country and indeed some clubs and universities as well. Field of in injury management. Fine. 
features. Set. Medical assistance. Down to play. Hold Specializing Gordon. in head injuries in particular. Important area of the game at the moment. Reeds is going to be important to try and get those passes to stick in the hands. A couple of times in their eagerness to get the ball away. Hold. It's just gone to deck. It's time they recover it. Now send the box kick flying high towards Sinclair. Oh, Sinclair. Well, we've seen that there's a bit of magic in those feet earlier on, and there's still plenty of magic in them now. Vantage penalty. Forwards he goes. Drawed now to Harrison, who's always looking for the offload and finds another one there. Gordon's playing some brilliant rugby. Oh, it's this huge aggression through contact as well. Aiden Sisk playing like a back row forward on the on the wing hit. Whistlecroft. Stan Platt taking that one in. No advantage, back we go. No advantage though, so we're gonna come back to the far side and I think a penalty nope. for Gordons. Way over on the far side. Referee's getting his GPS numbers up. Side entry and then not Full rolling away. The pitch there. That player over there. Broad. Stabs it into the 22. And again, Wallacher getting that ankle seen to. I think he was just getting the tape adjusted, to be honest, it was coming loose. Darkness starting to descend here at Gordon's. Bloodlights are on. Back 10 for me, guys. 18 minutes left to play. Ball! No, no! Vantage. Charging forward. No. What a maul this is from Gordon's. The power unbelievable. And now off the back breaks Cloak and Cloak has across the line. Oh, forward power from Gordon's. Harvey Cloak, the beneficiary at the tail of them all. But that was all about the work of the seven in front. Well, six in front, possibly. I can spot Whistlecroft lurking, looking for the ball to get popped out to him. Absolutely flying forward they went. And Cloak, well, there aren't many that are stopping him from that range, are there? The big tight head has had some game and he's got another try. To his name as he pops up, pops off rather after an afternoon's work. Very well done indeed. His team's fifth try. A 31 points to three lead for Gordon's. And drawed with a chance to extend that by a couple more points. Reed's working hard, but this Gordon's power and defensive pressure proving difficult to stop. Conversion doesn't quite make it, so we stay at 31 points to three. 17 minutes. Reeds to try and find a way just to close this gap. Here in this second game of the conference in the next Gen 15 Spring League. The brainchild of Jamie Harrison here at Gordon School. Trying to give an opportunity for players to play rugby in this spring term where they might otherwise not have, particularly guys who might not be great sevens players or necessarily excelling in other sports, but want to keep the sporting activity up on the rugby front through this term. And absolutely fantastic to see a, a real spirit of just getting guys out there on the field. 
And you'll see across Spring League, there'll be lots of development teams, there'll be under 17s groups, there'll be groups that are sort of filled with non-7s players from, from 1 to 15. It's all about just getting on the pitch, playing rugby, and having a chance to show off your skills and showing off his skills throughout this second half has been Ollie Wallacher. Another magnificent run from the Gordons forward there. Great tackle from Reeds, though. Gordons keep the power on, though. Once again, Wallacher on the carry. Sam Mason with a little carry and an offload. This is great stuff from Gordons. Such passion in the way that they move forward. Vyong on the charge, going close. Chance here for Reese to try and snaffle the ball away. Have they succeeded? Not quite. I feel unfortunate not to have got something from that breakdown. Taku! Almost got something that time as well. Ball pops that out. Go forward. Scrum, white ball. And pops out in a forward direction from Gordon's. Reed will have a scrum. And that was good defensive work from Reed. After some more absolutely brilliant forward interchange from Gordon's. That play between their forwards, the interlinking, the offloading, the power through contact has been a real feature of their game from start to finish today. Or from start to 55 minutes today. I'm sure it'll continue to be so over the course of the next 14, 15 minutes. Crouch. Find. Set. Wait for the ball. Steady scrum from both sides. Reed's going to try and have a run out of their own 22. And across the 22 Lance they get. Scrum. Offload doesn't quite go to hand, but it was knocked on by Gordon's. Two knock -ons, first so Reed's advance, then by White. 10 metres or so. Scrum, white ball. Of a scrum just inside the 22. Bang in the middle of the pitch. Options both sides. We see it here. Great carrying from Hayden McGilvery off the bench. Tried to get the offload away, and why not? This team have a scrum. Well, they've got an even blind side and open side, but they've absolutely stacked the right-hand side of the field. Probably the more unusual of the two ways to go. You get the free kick, and that is the way they're going to play. Ball just skewed off the right-hand side of the boot. As Reed's attempted the clearance, and Gordon's have a line out and a really promising attacking position. It is unusual to see a team when they've got that centre field scrum to to stack the right-hand side of it if nothing else, because on average, players tend to be more comfortable passing from right to left, so you tend to see them stack the left-hand side of the field rather than the right-hand side. But on that That's occasion, so Reed stacking that right-hand side. Gordon. So they shape for the clearing okay. kick. Quite work out. Gordon's with the line out. Nathan Byong will throw in. successfully as well ball, ball to the tail of the mall well we saw what happened the last time that Gordon set up a mall but oh that is brilliant from Yai and Schofield for Reed gets through the mall and gets the ball ripped away the offload in the end though doesn't quite work out and who's there to tidy up none other than Luke Whistlecroft advantage over from the scrum that really was fantastic work from Yai and Schofield at that mall, though. <laughs> Scrappy ball, knock-ons all around. But the final knock-on from Gordon's, and it'll be another scrum down. Reed's ball. Have a look at this, though. Yai and Davis gets on the ball early. You can see him there. He's on it in the blue headband. 
and then he has the strength to rip it away. Burst clear of the clutches from the number nine and get lolloping down the field. Crouch. Spillage through contact, the reason that Reeds have this scrum here. Stand up. Let's just, let's just find our space. Find our space. Okay, let's go. Quick set up. Seconds in. They're in the blue beats on the left hand side of the scrum. Backing down on the blind side, wearing seven. Crouch. Luke Whistlecroft. What a game he's had. Find. The Gordons. Set. Wait for the ball. Not sure about the left foot forward scrummaging technique from him, though. Stabbed three by Reeds. Oh, that's lovely play from Reeds. Can they finish it off? Not quite. Great cover. No hands, no hands. Combination of Saywell and McGilvray. Getting Reeds on the front foot here. Schofield takes it in. Knock on advantage. But it's Advantage knocked, knocked on and tidied up by who else? Whistlecroft, and he stabs it downfield. Reeds working back hard to cover. Advantage. Just about getting there, but knocked on. Gordons have advantage. <laughs> I apologise. Gordons don't have advantage. Player dropping in height, but it is still a high tackle by seven. A high tackle from Gordons. And the man we've just been talking about, Whistlecroft. He goes to the bin. And Reeds survive an almighty scare there. Make sure we're behind. Okay. But I'll tell you what, we think back to the kick through from Saywell and the gather from McGilvray. Absolutely magical bit of play from Reeds. Deserved more than it got, really. Thank you. See the replay here. This was after Whistlecroft had tidied up the loose ball. Got it through. And a high tackle there on the Reeds cover. What sees him? Have a little seven minute rest. Come down, Gordon's ball on the far side of the field. Seven or so minutes left to play. 31 points to three, the home side lead. What a start to next Gen 15 Spring League. This is for Gordon's. Bind. Some brilliant play Set. from the home side in all facets of the game, really. Oliver well, Mantel running the hard line there. Let go. Reach defences up really quickly, though. They're going to keep playing right to the end of this one, but it's a scrum. Sorry, it's a penalty, Let him rather. Run. Let him to run. Gordons. Sam Mason goes quick with it. Reese did well to get back 10, Easy. actually. Easy. Habershaw now takes it in. Eating up the metres when the forwards get running. Draws pass, doesn't quite get a hand, but it's tidied up really well by Stan Platt. Crabs his way in field, trying to find a bit of space, and he's found a bit of space there for Mantel. No hands. Easy, stand up, stand up. Wallacher carrying again. He has been an absolute titan since he came on. It's great work as well. From Robbie Heffernan. Roll Reeds! Ball is there. Ball is there. Gordon's go short to Stevenson. Around the corner and he's still going on. Off feet, Reeds! Is the loose head. Ball spilled though and Reeds have a chance to break out. Turnover is legal, but we go back for the knock on. 
Ryan Syke, who gathered the loose ball. Bruce says the turnover on him was okay, but we'll come back for the scrum. Cloak on that hard line off nine. Just couldn't quite gather. Cloak, I think, has come on on the blindside flank, actually. Or probably came on at eight, actually, and with uh, with Whistlecroft in the bin, he's just switched across the flank to keep the uh, the weight even on either side of the scrum hit. Crouch. Find. Set. Wait for the ball. Reed's opting to play. Interestingly, Reed's playing with eight in the scrum there. I thought that they'd have to even the numbers up in the scrum, but it's lost and all comes to naught anyway because Gordons are across the line again. It's James Goldsworth with his second try of the game. His team's sixth. They have been utterly ruthless of Gordons. They got the nudge on in the scrum. It was therefore difficult and loose ball off the back of it. And when it squirted out from that tackle, Goldsworth was on the ball and across the line. This has been a performance of real class from Gordon's. About four minutes left to go. George standing over the conversion here. And his forward pack around him in particular have just been absolutely fantastic. Broad strikes it nicely and strikes it between the uprights. Gordon stretched things out to 38 points to three. Not too long left at all in this one. Gordon's have been absolutely brilliant. Can Reeds get a try for their efforts though? You have to say they have worked oh so hard. The away side in white today. Gordon's though, just so much power coming through from that forward. Go back. Stevenson this time barreling through. Now his front row partner, Cloak, playing in the back row now. Got the offload away as well to Gamina, but that second offload. Any up in touch. And Gordon's back up to 15 men now as Luke Whistlecroft is ushered back onto the field. Just here, lads. Just here. Thank you. Well, you don't often see that, do you? Down the man, and it's Gordon's. Come out of that period in credit. Cheeky line out. Five from Reeds. In five. Too cheeky, says the referee. Didn't go five. Free kick, Gordon's. Oh, another unbelievably powerful carry. Saunders has the ball now. The passion in every carry from these Gordons forwards is just outstanding. Cloak now, still going, is Cloak. Reeds are trying to hold him back. Or hold him up, rather. He goes to ground. Oh, it's a great counter run from Reeds. Ball is so difficult to control at the moment. 
Cloak has found a way to stab it through and it's going to have to be tidied up by Reeds. They do so successfully from Matthew Lorne. And that is game over. Gordons get their next Gen 15 Spring League campaign off to the perfect start. A 38 points to three victory over Reeds. A performance of incredible power and precision and terrific link play between their forwards. Reeds gave it everything. They worked so, so hard. Defensively, they were on song as much as they could be, but there was just nothing they could do about that. Gordon's power through much of the game and Gordon's lead, or Gordon's win rather, 38 points to three. An absolutely fantastic performance. We'll have a look at a few of the tries now, six of them for Gordon's. see the tries here offloading left right and center and that offload out the back absolutely terrific allowing Tom Baldwin to score sensational from Gordon's through the first half and while these replays are going to go are going on, I'm going to bring in Jamie Harrison from Gordon School, who I suppose we can call the uh, the founding father of Spring League. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Uh, thank you for coming down today. It's been great to have you with us. Absolutely fantastic to come down. And just I mean, looking at the performance from from Gordon's, uh, a fantastic display. And I think what really stood out was how much each of those boys wanted to show what they could do the uh, the meters through contact and, and those sorts of those sorts of things really demonstrated just how much those boys care about this and want to play for each other yeah really pleased with the performance there but what this league's about is the participation getting these boys playing a lot of these boys might not have been playing if we hadn't set this league up uh, if we hadn't got these fixtures on lots of schools turn to sevens right now and so we do lose some boys so we're just pleased that We've got these fixtures on the page. We're allowing these boys to get out and keep playing rugby, the sport that they all love and the reason why we're all here today. Absolutely. Well, we were saying through commentary that we're going to see all sorts of different team sheets out throughout Spring League. We're going to see some development sides, some under-17 sides. We're going to see some sides that might have an awful lot of forwards playing in the back line because they're, they're not looking forward to seven season too much. We're going to see all sorts. And that is, as you say, what it what it's all about. And, and hats off to Reeds for coming down and putting a shift in because I have to say a lot of teams their heads might have gone down but defensively Reeds just kept battling away throughout yeah the work rate from both teams was fantastic Reeds are you know almost a local derby for us they're only half an hour down the road so it's brilliant to have them over here and we hope you know a bit of a turn leg maybe end of this term or maybe next year definitely and I think it's exciting what this league's going to bring and we only hope that it's going to grow and grow over the years uh, and really give those players who won't be focused on sevens an appetite and a, a passion for the, for the rugby to continue, pl continue playing Absolutely, and I'll tell you what, the facilities here at Gordon School, given the icy conditions that we've seen in the first couple of weeks of, uh, of this term, seeing cancellations all, ac all across the board, this pristine surface here allowing us all to play, quite something to have. Yeah, very lucky. I would like to say it's uh, underfloor heating, but that would be it would be a lie. But, uh, you know, it's, it's come out very well today and uh, it's helped us on our Saturday programme with the junior fixtures as well, allowing us to continue to play. We've had to cancel some for the grass like other schools, but it still gives us three or four fixtures on a Saturday morning. And if not, we get training as well. So we're very, very lucky to, to have this 3G pitch and yeah, really grateful to have it with us. Well, it's certainly one that we were grateful for as well the opportunity, the opportunity to actually come and see a live game it's been a uh, few and far between in this uh, chilly january we've all been we've all been experiencing more games to come though in spring league much more to come from gordons as well it's going to be exciting it's going to be as you say just great to see so many players getting out there and and having a laugh on the rugby field that's what we want to see we saw some absolute i mean we were just before we we started chatting we saw that brilliant offload from uh, Robert Harrison, Robert Harrison, rather, to, to get the ball out the back for the try. Some brilliant play, and that's what we want to see, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's why it's all about. It's all about that opportunity access for the students to be able to play to play the sport that they all love and, and want to give their time to play. And they'll still continue training. And we just never had those fixtures. And this just when we remember chatted for the first time about it, both sort of grabbed it and, and ran with it. And so pleased that other schools have got on board and really seen that uh, opportunity in the league. And I just really hope it continues to grow and more schools jump in on the idea and, and, and back it as well as we go through the years. Absolutely. Well, there's going to be plenty more to come. We're going to be back at Gordon School a couple of times as well, not just for Springley, but also for a couple of sevens tournaments. We've got under 16s, we've got under 18s. It's going to be good fun. It's going to be an awful lot of entertaining rugby to come throughout the rest of the term. We're looking forward to it. Jamie, thank you very much for hosting us. Thank you very much. And indeed for being the master behind Springley. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jamie Harrison there from Gordon School. As we close things up here, 38 points to three it finished two Gordons against Reeds and we've got some big stuff coming up and a big thank you by the way to our partners Limitless as you can see here on my incredibly warm dry robe that they've provided me with kept me nice and toasty throughout the game but some big things to come this Sunday we're off to Seaford College for the Seaford 10s many of you will remember that from last year we'll be covering two pitches there lots and lots of teams in attendance one of which will be Gordon's who are a last minute addition to the competition. So it's going to be pretty exciting there. After that, we're off to more Spring League games and Sevens tournaments galore because we all know that come the start of February, Sevens begins. It's going to be very, very good fun. But until Sunday and the Seaford 10s, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from everyone here at Next Gen 15. And a big thank you to Gordon's for a wonderful hosting experience and a wonderful game here against Reed. 38 points to three, it finished in their opening game of the Next Gen 15 Spring League. <laughs>